So let's come back and learn after your catalysis. We are going to learn. We have already studied in catalysis. What did we learn? We have studied there are two types of catalysis. One is your homogeneous catalysis as well as heterogeneous. So again, you have a concept here where you have to learn about heterogeneous catalysis theory. Simplest uh, uh, theory, I don't know the symbol. Let us, if they ask you, how should you write? So basically, this will not be asked for three marks. If they ask you, suppose like luck, if you have that luck, if they ask you for three marks, let us write in a detailed way. If, you, if they're not asking you for three marks, if they're asking you for one mark, in brief, that also I'll show you. So whenever we speak about heterogeneous catalysis, there are five important things or five important steps you have to remember. What? So as I said, catalysis is the process of addition or the whole process of uh, enhancing the reaction when you add a catalyst. Correct? Now, I'm going to take or divide this theory into five equal parts. In the exam also, you can do like this. What you do is, suppose if it is asked for one mark like this, you can make a box and explain. Suppose if they ask you for three marks, what do you do? You're going to divide the page into five parts. One part, divide it into two, divide into three, divide into four and divide into five. So there you will let us draw the diagram above done. So adsorption theory according to adsorption theory the first important thing which your uh, the process follows is you are or you know see <coughs> the diffusion okay let us write here diffusion of diffusion of reactants diffusion of reactants over the catalyst the first important thing first process is diffusion last uh, diffusion of reactants i said the last step would be again diffusion diffusion of products now there is reactants there here i'm going to write products remember that we are diffusion of products from catalyst surface now what is going to happen in between yeah let us see that after uh, reactants uh, combining and products release of products let's see the next important step after diffusion is next adsorption what is going to absorb adsorption of reactants on catalyst surface okay i will show all of these Catalyst surface. After adsorption, the next important formation of bonds between catalyst and reactants. Okay, why did I write this? Because we are basically showing heterogeneous catalysis, isn't it? That means uh, there, are, there should be two reactants. The physical state would be different and the physical state of the catalyst also should be different. Done. Formation of bonds. After formation of bonds, next important thing is desorption. That's going to desorption of products. Done. Okay, these are the steps. Let's write uh, uh, diagrammatically. First, I said diffusion of reactants over the catalyst. Let us draw the catalyst. We are going to represent the catalyst in this form. Done. This is your catalyst. <coughs> these are the sides. Done. Right. So now the you you need a catalyst which should be in heterogeneous state. That means both should be different. Now both are different. <laughs> a and B two different like two different uh, reactants and different physical states. If I speak in that terms. Now, second important thing, adsorption of reactants on the catalyst surface. So, this is going to adsorb, right? Simple. Pick up the catalyst in this way on both the sides and both here you have a linkage. What should happen? The reactant individually, there should be a bond breakage here and one reactant will attach here and one more reactant will attach here. This is your step two. After that, the second, third step, formation of bonds. They said from here, there's a bond formation which is happening between the catalyst as well as your reactant. So now <coughs> I'm going to take this. Now pick this A. There was no bond between these two, isn't it? Now form a bond between A and B. Done. After that, desorption of products. Further, once it's going to attach to the site, you know, then later the reactants get converted to the product. I'm generally showing the theory, we're not showing with the reactants. So, this is going to desorb. Desorption means separation. From here, the catalyst is again regained out. You get the catalyst out, done, and your 
the pro reactant now gets converted to your products your product is out now this is your product you have to write that here this was your reactant and this was your catalyst this is your part so let us name this this is one this is one this is two this is two this is three this is also three this is four this is four if i have to say this is five this is also five so this is your heterogeneous theory <laughs> these are the steps so now i find this question is given to me in for one mark i have to write only i have less time i have to write keywords so keywords are this diffusion okay diffusion of simple reactants next adsorption of reactants next formation of bonds next desorption next diffusion of products diffusion of products if it is given for one mark you have to write only this then only you will get enough time to finish off but don't leave any question in the exam piece so this is your concept of heterogeneous catalyst reactant shown in different states catalyst again regain back